Good Thursday morning. This is 106.1 KYVZ. Joe Bezurek on the phone once again with meteorologist Chris Schramick at Decision Weather and Atwood, as well as America's Weather Streaming Channel. Chris, today and tomorrow, it doesn't get much nicer than that for spring in western Kansas. Yeah, Joe, we're going to have a situation where temperatures are going to only be in the, the lower to middle to upper 60s. So 60 degree temperatures uh, this time of year is kind of nice. You know, generally we kind of start getting hot this time of year and could be even cold because we have are just now passing our average last freeze dates for the area. So uh, that outgoing in mind, we're sitting out there starting this morning at 35 in Burlington. we got 37 in Goodland, 43 in McCook and Oakley, 40 here in Atwood. And we're forecasting a high temperature in that lower to mid 60s today. So it'll be a little bit cooler today. we got an upper level low that's been spinning over the Dakotas. Now it's going to cut off and spin over Colorado today while the surface low moves off to the south east coast and the southeast. So what that does, it puts the precipitation of light rain and snow showers to the west in eastern Colorado and up in the mountains. And then the severe weather is going to go to the east coast and down into the southern uh, U.S. from east Texas through Georgia. So we'll be looking at severe weather there today. Uh, maybe some snow to our west out in Colorado in the mountains, and here it's going to be a really nice day. Winds will also be light, so everybody will like that. We'll be at 5 to 15 today from the northwest. Tomorrow, similar weather. Uh, we got a high pressure that's building over the Rockies, so that should clear skies, and the temperatures will be in the upper 60s, so still slightly below normal for this time of year, and the breezes will be again from the north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Overnight lows will be around 40, and the winds will turn to the south on Friday, That'll increase moisture into the area, push the temperatures back into the 70s, and then that cutoff low that's spinning over Colorado will continue to spin out there and bring two pieces of energy Saturday evening and Sunday evening across the plains. That'll bring shower and storms through, and we could see maybe some marginal severe weather there Saturday. Probably nothing. If it would be, it'd be a very small hail or that wind gust to 50 miles per hour. But we could see some decent rain both those evenings in a half inch to inch variety. Uh, there will be moisture in place. Overnight lows will go into the lower 40s. And then looking ahead to next week, those lows will be in the middle to upper 40s, maybe hitting 50. The daytime temperatures will be in the upper 70s, maybe hitting 80. And as we move past that last freeze date, doesn't look like we're going to see any more colder temperatures, and that's probably good news for those wanting to garden and get out to the field. Uh, that's probably past us another freeze. As well as we got a, a, an active weather pattern setting up again, we're going to have a trough coming from the northwest. Showers and storms will be back in the forecast Tuesday, Wednesday. Monday will be probably our dry day, and then we'll have uh, potential for severe weather and even some wraparound showers as we get into Thursday. So precipitation looks like it's going to continue to be above normal or at least normal to start May. Active weather pattern and our temperatures are going to start warming up. Chris, as we get towards uh, next week, and of course that's that was Rod Run. Uh, what's weather kind of shaping up to look like uh, then? Well, it kind of looks like the where we'll start to can have that active pattern uh, continuing. But the disturbances and the flow looks like it's not going to be a cutoff low, so it'll be things coming through every three to four days uh, to end that month. So right now it does look like we could see a low pressure that will be exiting the area Thursday and Friday to the east coast. If we're lucky, we'll get in between the next system and we'll have a pretty decent weekend there. And then the storms will you know, hopefully hit us in the middle of the week. But that can all change uh, since we do have an active pattern, but right now we'll kind of cross our fingers and hope we get in between a couple systems. Okay, once again, that's meteorologist Chris Schramick at Decision Weather at Atwood, as well as America's Weather Streaming Channel. For KYVZ Radio, I'm Joe Vizurek.